Well, welcome to today's kids service and it's great to have you here this morning. Last week we celebrated uh, Easter Day where Jesus rose from the grave and we celebrated Easter because it's such an amazing time where we think about all that God has done for us. And this week we're going to be thinking about a man from the Old Testament called Moses. But before we do, I wonder whether you have any good news. Do you have any good news? And maybe you could turn maybe to the person next to you, if you're watching this with somebody, and you can tell them your good news. Well, having told uh, someone else about your good news or what you've enjoyed about this week, let's give that to God. So Lord Jesus, we thank you for the good things in this week. And we pray, Father, that there would be good things in the week ahead of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, as we begin our time together, we come before God to say that we're sorry. Last Sunday, as I've already said, we celebrated that Jesus came back to life and Jesus showed that through his death and resurrection, coming back from the cross and from the grave, our sins can be forgiven. And so we can be confident about Jesus forgiving us the things that we do that are wrong. And so let's take a moment now to quietly think about what we might need forgiveness for. Well, could you join with me in praying with words and actions? The words are going to be on the screen and they are, so that I can be forgiven. Should we try that together? One, two, three. So that I can be forgiven. Okay. So we're going to pray now to God. So can we make a cross with our fingers like that? Lord Jesus, we are sorry for the things that we have done wrong. Thank you that you died on the cross for us so that I can be forgiven. Can we point to our eyes? Great, well done. Lord Jesus, we are sorry for the things that we have looked at. And so we say together, so that I can be forgiven. Next, can we point to our ears? Lord Jesus, we are sorry for the things that we have listened to, that you wouldn't be happy with us listening to. Please forgive us, so that I can be forgiven. Now pointing to your head. Lord Jesus, we are sorry for the things that we have thought. Please Jesus, forgive us, so that I can be forgiven. Okay, now hand on your heart. Lord Jesus, we are sorry for not loving and serving you as we should. Lord Jesus, forgive us so that I can be forgiven. And knowing that Jesus longs to forgive us, let's put our hands open in front of us like we're receiving a gift. Because we are receiving a gift, a gift of forgiveness. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we're going to sing a song that you will probably recognise. Uh, we haven't got Abby dancing and doing the actions, but I'm sure you'll know some of them. So it's Our God is a Great Big God. <laughs> Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands Our 
Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He is wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. 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 Well, as I've already said, we are going to have a story today about a man called Moses. And over the next coming weeks, we're going to have a story each week about Moses, about his life. And the story of Moses can be found in the Old Testament, and he lived a very, very long time ago. So today we're going to hear about the beginning of Moses' life and this reading, this story is taken from Exodus chapter 1 and 2 and so Anne is going to read our story to us now. This is the story of Miriam and baby Moses. God's people, the Hebrews, were living in Egypt but the Egyptians didn't like them. The Pharaoh of Egypt said, there are too many Hebrews, let them work for us as slaves. And so they did. But the Hebrews still grew in number. So the wicked Pharaoh said, every Hebrew baby boy that is born must be thrown into the Nile River. Now, there lived in Egypt a Hebrew girl called Miriam. Her mother was expecting a baby. At last the baby arrived. It was a boy. Miriam's mum and dad didn't want to lose their baby, so they hid him. But it wasn't easy, because babies are noisy. When the Egyptians weren't around, Miriam's family took the baby out. Miriam held her dear little brother. Miriam's mother had a plan to keep her baby safe. She made a basket and coated it with tar to keep water out. Then she put her baby son in the basket and took him to the river. She left and Miriam kept watch. She stayed very quiet. Not long after, the princess of Egypt came to the river. She was going to bathe. Miriam was frightened for her baby brother. What's in that basket? 
basket? the princess asked. A servant brought the basket to her. Inside was the little baby. It's a Hebrew boy, said the princess. She loved the baby. Miriam was suddenly brave. She went to the princess of Egypt. Would you like a Hebrew nurse to care for the baby? She asked. Yes, please, said the princess. So Miriam ran home to find her mum. The princess called the baby Moses. He became her adopted son. But she didn't know that God had a special plan for him. Nobody knew but God. God kept baby Moses safe because one day he would lead his people out of Egypt. So Moses was brought up by the princess of Egypt in her palace. The end. When was the last time you saw a newborn baby? Actually, this isn't a real baby. It's only baby Moana in baby Annabelle's top. This, however, is the last baby that graced our house. Our story today is about a mother, a mother who was scared. The Pharaoh was like a powerful king, and he had said every baby born to a Hebrew woman must be killed. Moses was a Hebrew baby born to a Hebrew mother so he was in great danger. She needed to make a decision, even though she was scared. She decided she was going to be brave. Being brave is doing what we know is best, even though we're scared. So she bundled up her fear, together with her love for her baby, placed them in a basket, and sailed it down the river in the direction of someone who had a bit of a reputation. Moses' mother knew that God had a reputation, a reputation for taking care of his people, of those in danger, of those who are scared. That is the same God that we serve today. So was Moses' mother correct in trusting God? Absolutely. As the Pharaoh's daughter saw this baby floating along the river, she saw how beautiful he was. She thought he was adorable and took him without hesitation. Important women in those days got help to take care of their children. And so Pharaoh's daughter needed a nanny or a childminder, you could say to take care of him day and night. She sent for help from among the Hebrew women. And guess which Hebrew woman came? That's right, Moses' real mother was sent. Moses was now safe because the Pharaoh's daughter took him as her own son. And Moses' mother was happy because she got to see him every day and to take good care of him. Today, like Moses' mother, let us remember the reputation that God has, a reputation for taking care of his people, of those in danger, of those who are scared. And let us remember he will take care of us like he did for Moses and take care of those we love like he did for Moses' mother. Would you join in saying amen to this prayer? Lord Jesus, help us to be brave in trusting you. We know that you're famous for taking care of those who are scared and taking care of those who trust in you. Help us to trust in you with our whole heart, now more than ever. Amen. 
Thank you so much Anne and Lathita for our reading and our talk this morning. morning. And so we're going to now have our prayers and Craig is going to lead us in our prayers. So can we make sure that we're sitting comfortably so that we're not shifting around. We put our hands together so we're not fiddling and we can keep our eyes on the screen. But let's just make sure that we're ready to talk to God. Thanks, Craig, for leading us in our prayers. Good morning, everyone, and thank you. Together we pray. Lord, just as we have heard about the birth of Moses and the love and protection that his mum gave for him, we pray that you watch over us to protect us, just as you love and care for all of your children. And Lord, we thank you for your love and protection during these very difficult times. We pray that you keep us safe and we thank you for all those people who are keeping us safe too. We pray that you look after our friends and our family who we can't see. And we thank you for all that you've done for us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now we pray with the prayer that Jesus taught himself to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy, your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thanks Craig for leading us in our prayers and we're going to sing again. We're going to sing Shine from the Inside Out. So if you want to get up onto your feet, it will start in a moment. The world will see you live in me. Shine from the inside out. That the world will see you live in me. You know me and you love me. You fill me. So send me to shine from the inside out. That the world will see you live in me. And you 
Well, it's great to be able to praise God in the words of shine and we're going to now have our craft and Sally's going to lead you in that craft thanks Sally okay so today we are going to do Moses in the bushes so if you want you can get your pencil and draw a pond shape on your white piece of paper or you can cut out a pond shape with your blue piece of paper Here's one I cut out earlier. So you get your glue, stick the back, and stick it on. There you go. Now you need your piece of card that is bigger than that one. And you need to cut out a basket shape. Here's one we did earlier for you. So we glue the back. Stick it in the middle of your pond. Like and then if you want, you can get your brown pencil crayon and you can draw lines to make it look more like a basket. There you go. Now you need your smaller piece of card with your scissors and you need to cut out a face. So here's one. I did earlier for you. So get your pencil and you draw two little eyes. And if you want, you can draw a smiley face. Get your glue, glue the back and stick him on, just like that. Now then, for this next bit, you need to get your glue and you need to glue all of your page, something like that, and on your pond, if you want. There we go. Then you get the grass that you've collected and you stick it all around, something like that. So then, there you have your Moses in his basket in the rushes. Well, this week I have been growing some sunflower seeds and this is where my seedlings are growing. And so you can see, well, I might not be able to see, but there is, if I take this off, a group of seeds that says sunflowers and I'm hoping that they will soon grow as you can see there's nothing here at the moment and maybe some of you might have planted some seeds now if you have planted some seeds once you see some shoots coming up would you take a photo of them or get one of um, an adult in your household to take a photo of them or you could draw them and if you can send them to me we will be able to put them onto the com uh, computer and then we can put them onto the TV so that people can see how our flowers are growing. We need to make sure that we water them, we need to make sure that no slugs or anything get them like that because they love sunflowers and we need to nurture these seedlings. So if you see any shoots take a photo and let me know. That is the challenge for this week. And so we're going to sing um, our last song together and it's a brand new song and it's called My Guardian. And in the chorus, it might be that you, when you hear the word My Guardian, you maybe do a defence move like that or maybe you do it crisscrossed. And you, when you hear the words Guardian, 
do a sign of protection, either with one arm or two. So this is my guardian. we're coming to the end of our time together and so a final blessing as we prepare to finish our service together so the lord bless us and watch over us the lord make his shine face shine upon us and be gracious to us the lord look kindly on us and give us his peace and the blessing of god almighty father son and holy spirit be with you and those whom you love now and always amen so have a good rest of your day and look after yourselves and we'll see you next Sunday. Take care.